Okay, today I'm gonna be mixing a beat. Like, I'm gonna be just like unmixing everything. I'm just gonna show you how I would go about like mixing, mashing. Hopefully, you can get something out of it. Anyway, without further ado, let's hop into FL Studio 20. So, I haven't even arranged it yet, but I'm just gonna do only mixing, not even gonna arrange it. I'll arrange it after. But yeah, this is just the beat. This vocal loop is from Sane. I'll have his Instagram up so you can follow him. So it sounds kind of like muddy right now, like the vocal loop. So I'm just gonna cut the lows from it first, just to cut the lows. I'm just gonna route all the sounds so you like double click on it or just click on it like this until they're all highlighted. Control L, and then it, they all go to mixer tracks. So very easy. And I'm just gonna look at all the levels first. Let's just start with the 808. So what I like to do is turn everything down to 12 dB. So when it's like 12 right here. This way, I just like to do this because it leaves a lot of headroom for like putting on your master chain and stuff. So it's not clipping and stuff like that. Okay, also uh, put your kick and your 808 on mono, unless you're doing like some panning or something like that, you wanna have them on mono. Maybe the 808 you can put it at half if you want like a wide feel, but it really depends. I'm just gonna put it all the way at mono. Cause this way it's in the middle and the melody is like wider. So you want it more, you want the melody more stereo and the kicks and the 808 stuff more like in the middle. So it hits harder. Mostly it's just by ear, just hear it out. But I just usually uh, put the kick at around 15 dB, but um, still just go by here. I usually put the 808 at 18, but it also depends on the beat. I know it sounds kind of bad right now, but just bear with me. The clap I usually put at 18, hi-hats about like 21 to 27, or 24 to 27. Now this 808 is fine, but let's say your 808 is not hitting, okay, it's just like, it's just not like hitting. What you can do, obviously there's a lot of things you could do, but you could um, basically just copy this preset, basically you just boost like the bass, the mids a little, and kind of cut the highs. And then you can adjust it to the 808 so it sounds like better with the specific 808. This clap is fine, but let's say it wasn't fine and it wasn't hitting, right? You could put distortion on it, just a little, just to mess with this mix up. Now this clap is already pretty distorted, so I'm not going to actually put it on, but just to show you, that you want to boost it. The ranges that you want to boost is the low mid is the punchiness. Right? And then the high mids is like that like crisp part. But it also varies on the clap, so yeah. And I'm just gonna drop my master chain on it and I'll go over my master chain. So for my master chain, first we have a limiter. Um, you turn all these knobs down right here, okay, and basically uh, boost the gain up first, just until it's like as loud as you would want it to be, right? Then you take the ceiling, you put it to like the peaks. And it just makes everything more punchy. Then I have this EQ just right under the limiter. I boosted like the treble high area, a little bit of the mids, a little bit of this part of the mids. So yeah, you can just copy that. And then I cut the lows. So I have a soft clipper. What I do to it is turn this one all the way this way. Turn this one to 95. Now, as you can tell, the hat and the clap are very loud. So I'm just gonna turn them down.
so just for a before or after this is just just to show you how much like the master made a difference because this is what it sounds like without it right it's just um not hitting very well it's leveled it's like it's still leveled it's not like anything's like too loud or anything like that it's just like still just not hitting like the drums are like you know but then you turn it on Anyway, that is that for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it or learned something. It was a pretty short video because it's, you know, it's not that hard to cover mixing because it doesn't take too long. But yeah, that's, um, that's it.